Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hike the Panorama Loop and Warren Peak here in Joshua Tree National Park. It's about seven and a half miles, a little bit of climbing, but nothing too tough, but it is very beautiful. It's in the Western part of the park, not so busy as the other hikes, and you get great views of San Gorgonio uh, up into uh, the Mojave San Jacinto, which is behind me and lots of uh, really healthy Joshua trees. So it's a really fun little hike to do. Not too tough, but kind of just tough enough. Now, as always, I have a full guide on hiking guide where I'll talk about the parking, all the logistical stuff. So make sure you check that out before you go. That'll have information you need to do the hike. And as always, if you're enjoying the video, if you find it helpful, if you could do me a big favor and just click that little thumbs up button, it's an easy way to say thank you and it helps me out a ton too. So thank you for that. And uh, yeah, let's hit the trail. Let me show you this hike. It's a, it's a cool one. So let's go. All right. So we're going to start at the day use parking area at the Black Rock campground here. It's a little bit tricky. I'll talk about that in the guide about how to park there. But you'll see there's a trailhead board right here after the parking lot. There is a um, permit box here. You only need a permit if you are going overnight, but you technically do need a, a parks pass to park here, although there is no entrance gate. But right from the start, we're gonna be going on a sandy trail, lots of Joshua trees. There's some more bigger ones, more substantial ones as we go up Black Rock Canyon. But in the beginning here, there's a few different use trails and we'll join in um, to this main trail, but it's pretty easy to stay on the main trail, which is gonna twist to the right a little bit and we're going to head steadily up Black Rock Canyon to those hills that are in front of us over there. Now the first major junction is the California Riding and Hiking Trail which is sort of the through hike of Joshua Tree National Park. I have a guide on that so you can check that out if you want to do that. It's a fun little trip but we're going to go straight here and leave that behind. And you'll see once we pass that, there is a little sign for Black Rock Canyon, which is the canyon that we're going to be ascending on our way up to the Panorama Loop and Warren Peak. Now the first junction, uh, or the second junction, I guess, um, is the Short Loop Trail over to the left. That's another little hike. Maybe I'll do that guide at some point, but we're going to keep going straight up the Sandy Wash here. And then shortly after that, there's the um, Burt Hill Trail Junction, which goes off to the right and left. And from here, we're going to go uh, straight. And you can see right away, there's the Black Rock Canyon sign and the first mention of the Panorama Loop and Warren Peak. So that's a good thing. Now, from here on out, it's, it's pretty straightforward in terms of the junctions and everything. But we're going to keep going up. Here are some of the Black Rocks that Black Rock Canyon was named after, but it definitely gets a little rockier and more rugged as we climb up on the path here. Now this is all loose sand, it can be a little slow going, and it breaks apart in certain places like this and comes back together, and people have been pretty good about marking the trail uh, and you know helping you out, go on, helping you find the right path to take, but it's pretty straightforward. You're just going up the canyon here, pretty much straight ahead if you look at a map. Now at this point we're getting to uh, Black Rock Spring, which is a spring here. You can see it's much more lush as we come to up here. And after this it's going to get a little more narrow as uh, we go through the spring area. I've never actually seen the spring. I looked for it, but I think it might be underground at this point. Maybe it comes above ground at certain times, but if you've seen it, let me know. You can see the rock formations here, really cool. It's not necessarily what you think of when you think of Joshua Tree. A lot of people think of the sand of the desert of the Joshua Trees, but there are definitely hills here and climbing and rocks and granite, all the things that you uh, normally associate with the mountains. All right, here we are at the Panorama Loop and Morongo View Trail split. Now this is the loop part, the lollipop loop. We're gonna come back down on the right there, but we're gonna do this on the left. We're gonna do it clockwise. Here you can see the old post from uh, the old trail that's been here for years from when I first started doing this. But we're going to do clockwise because when we go back down uh, after the top, it's going to be a little bit nicer. We're going to get nicer views as we descend. Now it definitely gets a little bit steeper here. Luckily you leave the loose sand behind. It gets more hard packed, um, a little more narrow as we go up here and a little rockier. The scenery definitely changes as we do this climb. 
And here you can see the particularly narrow section. Um, I, I love this type of, of hiking here in the desert. Really, really cool, really beautiful as we go up. And lots of beautiful, mature Joshua trees. And around this point, we're gonna start doing some switchbacks. And this is the last part of kind of the climb to the high point or the first high point on this loop. As we go up, we're gonna get great views into uh, Joshua Tree, Mojave National Preserve over there and up towards San Gorgonio. But at this point, we're doing switchbacks and it does get very, very steep. Uh, it helps if you have trekking poles here, but we're gonna keep on going up. And here you can see some of those switchbacks. You can see them going up kind of Eastern Sierra style there, but nothing too bad again. The, the total climbing is, is under 2000 feet for this whole hike. Now, eventually you're gonna get up to the summit or the viewpoint. It's not really a technical summit or a peak here, but this is the high point of the hike and of this initial loop. And there you can see San Gorgonio, a snowy San Gorgonio in the distance. Over here, San Jacinto, down into the Coachella Valley, Morongo Valley straight ahead. Really, really beautiful, spectacular views. And I think my favorite part of this hike is taking this part uh, along the ridge right here, past this viewpoint, and doing the nice cruisy descent. There's not really any steep sections on the descent, and you get these incredible views as we continue down here. Now, when we get to this point, you can go either way. Uh, that peak up to the right has an elevation on the topographic map so some people like to just bag it but otherwise you can just go around it like this it's really up to you you can avoid yourself a steep descent if you go around it but it's not long or far but here you can get an idea this is this is what the typical views are like as you go down here lots of really healthy mature joshua trees views of san bernardino national forest it's really spectacular now when you get here, we're gonna make the hard right. There's a little post there, PL means panorama loop. I think the trail used to go straight there and come back down, um, but I think they've, they've cut it off for whatever reason. So we're gonna go down here and in among these huge Joshua trees. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible, it's so beautiful here. I usually hit Joshua tree every winter and it's always nice to come back here after uh, doing the higher mountains in the summer. But anyway, Enjoy this nice, long, cruisy uh, descent. And then eventually when you come down, you're gonna see Warren Peak in the distance. Is that pointy one over there? It's also referred to as Warren Point. It's a survey benchmark. It's not an official peak name. But as we go down, it's easy to miss the turnoff for Warren Peak. You're gonna look for this big tree in the middle of the trail here on the Panorama Loop. We're gonna do a hard left and go up on this little spur up to the peak. And it's similar to the first climb. It's gonna be kind of gradual in the beginning, uh, not too tough. There is a trail that goes off to the left, the Morongo View Trail. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna to stay to the right and keep on heading towards Warren Peak, which you can see right there ahead of us. Now, when we get closer to Warren Peak, we're going to uh, look for this post. And that post means we should look off to the right. We have a couple little switchbacks here. And at this point, it starts getting steep, steeper as well. Uh, up to the peak and you'll see as you get closer it's going to look like it's pretty far up and you're going to think to yourself i've got a lot of climbing to do but it's not too far and here you can see uh, kind of the steepness of it but again it's not too far and at some, at some point you're going to get to the summit right here it's a pile of rocks there is a usgs uh elevation benchmark up here and then you get these views that we've had the whole way san jacinto morongo valley san gorgonio really really beautiful views at this point now when you're done there we're going to go back down to that last junction and i believe this is the um highest point in the western uh, part of joshua tree the highest point over 5,000 feet warren here we are back at that big tree where we were earlier and we're going to rejoin the, the uh, panorama loop and go back down. It's only maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of hiking from here to get back down to the junction where we split earlier. This was where that post was, WP Warren Peak. And here we are back on the sandy trail. Now you just have a nice long sandy cruise back down to the parking lot. And that is the hike. All right, so here's the hike. It's basically a lollipop loop with this little spur to the summit. 
This is Black Rock Camping. We're going to go up here clockwise round, panorama loop, spur to the summit, back down, and then back down here. Now, it can get a little confusing when you come into uh, Black Rock uh, Campgrounds here, Black Rock Canyon. The parking for the day use area, or day use hiking, is right here. And if you need bathrooms and stuff, they're in there. But you just go here and you can pull right over the sand and park in this little lot. This is where we started. I mentioned there's a couple little use trails that join in. Here was that first one. And we're going to go up. Here's the California uh, Riding and Hiking Trail that goes up into the mountains. We're going to continue up here. This is the Short Loop Trail Junction. Here's the uh, Burnt Hill Trail Junction. And then from here, we're just going to start climbing up Black Rock Canyon. And this is all pretty gradual here. Here's Black Rock Spring. This is where I mentioned it got narrower and a little more lush. And then we're going to come to uh, the split in the trail right here, or the Y in the trail. And you can see we have a gradual climb that gets a little bit steeper as we get up on this ridge. Here you can see are the switchbacks. And then here we are at the viewpoint. If I look around at the viewpoint, Santa Rosa's, San Jacinto, San Gorgonio. It's really uh, a, a great place to, I guess, whatever you call it, peak gaze. We'll call it peak gazing. Here's Joshua Tree, um, Quail Mountains over there, Granite Peak in the Mojave. And uh, I think on a clear day, you can actually see up to Mount Charleston in Las Vegas. Somebody told me that, but I have not seen it myself. And once we get to the viewpoint, we're going to go up along the ridge here. Let me swing this around. You can kind of see how we go. We follow it here. And as we follow it, you're going to get these great views as you go down there. There's totally unobstructed views all the way down here. And this was that junction where the big tree was. We're going to do the hard left um, and go back up to the summit of Warren Peak. And again, more great views up there. And then from here, it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go back down to the junction of the Panorama Loop, which is right here. And then here was the intersection where we came back to the loop where we started. And then right back down to the start in Black Rock uh, Canyon Campground. And that is the hike.